A one 2.2 Lightning. Hell yeah. Hackerman is back. I hear you was asking for me. I'm back, baby. Let's get started. So, my friends, there's a little bit of need for Hackerman here because Lightning model is out. They have a workflow here, the first file, the JSON file, and you don't really need that. So you don't need to download that. But I want to show you what that is. When you open up the workflow, they have these two files here and they are safe tensor diffusion files and they are 25 gigabytes each. Ain't nobody got time for that. And that's why we do none of that. So instead, what we do is we download these two models here. High noise, low noise. These are the LoRa's. Here's the download button, one, two. You want to rename them at the start to write one 2.2 image to video that you know what it is, right? Just so to check it out, right? It'll go in the LoRa folder, by the way. And then inside of ConfUI, we're going to use the workflow that I showed you last time. And we're going to use it with the GUF model that we have loaded last time. If you do not have this GUF model, it's going to go into the UNET folder. Pretty important to know that. There is a high noise model, there's a low noise model. So you already should have that from last time. I'm using the Q4 model here. And then over here we have the LoRa loader. This is where we load these two LoRa's that I just showed you. And then the rest is basically the same for that workflow. One more thing you need is the UMT5XXL FP8 and so on. Model you can see it here on the screen as big as can be. Of course, also the VAN 2.1 for some reason, VAE, it works, use it. And then you need an image, of course, that you want to use here. And then down here, you can set the size. And this is going to become very important in a second. So, where are we going from here? Up here, you have a prompt. You can use a prompt. You don't have to use a prompt. If the image has an indication of the motion, you might be good without a prompt. If you want to have a specific motion, you might want to put a prompt, right? And then down here, we have some Chinese for the negative prompt. Leave it as it is. Don't touch that. And then here, it's very important. Here we have the case sampler. Now, the difference here to my last workflow is that this is four steps. And we are rendering zero to two steps in the first case sampler with the Euler sampler this time. And then in the second one, we go from the second step to the end, which is the fourth step. And this also uses the Euler sampler. So this is also different. I'm going to save the workflow a second time. going to upload it. It's linked below the video. Check that out. And then, of course, we have here our initial video. And then if you want to, you can also use here this interpolation to get some more frames and then get a smoother video down here. You don't have to, but you can do that. Doesn't use too much render time. Now let's talk for a second about these render times. You can see here I'm using 640 by 640 for the resolution and 49 frames initially. And then of course this is going to be interpolated for more frames after that. And this is what these render times refer to. I have a 4080. So when we look at this, this is what we did last time in my last video. You can also watch that where we used eight steps. All of that is rendering in 135 seconds for that with this resolution. Now, with this new Lightning LoRa, what we have is 80 seconds. So that's a considerable time save on the same length, the same resolution. However, I have a pretty cool hack for you if you want to save a ton of time on all of that. What you want to do is you go in here for the image to video one, this thing where you set the size and you have the size to 320 by 320. This is going to give you a low resolution video and you're not going to want to use that low resolution video, but it gives you a very quick preview and that can save a lot of time for you because if you found something you like, you can still then double the resolution and render it again. For that, you have to fix the seat here so you get the same result. The render time for that on a 320 by 320 video with 49 frames is only 36.4 seconds on a 4080. That is super fast. And that's already it. Hell yeah, baby. And don't forget to comment Hackerman under the video. Peace out.